Welcome to Crucial Classics, where we watch movies from the golden age of Hollywood together. You bring your own copy. We both push play, and let's enjoy the magic. The advantage of being a subscriber is you'll have the ability to watch these movies for free on the original sites that I find them from, but either way, you can always watch along because you're bringing your own copy. Hi, and welcome back to Crucial Classics. If this is your first time here, welcome. We take a look at the wall first which is decorated like this because old movies are important for the past 32 years. So, okay, I am kind of like, oh, what are we watching next? And so it's like, you know what, then I'm going to get to a title that I've had bookmarked for a long time. Um, this is a fun one, right? Robert Mitchum, we don't get enough of his content, we don't get enough of his big titles for free. And this is just a really fun one, um, kind of smack in the middle of things going on. A couple of years, I see it's 58, so it's a few years after Night of the Hunter. His son is in this, which it's like, my goodness, Robert Mitchum, did he have a mother? Because your son is the definition of mini-me, okay? And yeah, I just, I remember, I've only seen this movie one time from start to finish, but I remembered having a good time with it. This is probably not, you know, wasn't up for best picture that year, but it's just fun. It's a good time and it's hard to find Robert Mitchum. So that's enough to say. I don't even need to, I don't really care what Malton writes it. Sometimes he gets on my nerves. <laughs> he's, he's like too critical. <laughs> So this on uh, Amazon right now is coming at one, two, three, four, and like three quarters of a star. So it's almost five stars according to the viewers. And I think we are the best critics. So um, ways to watch together, two tabs. You put me and one, the movie and another, make the movie take up more of the screen. Or you do picture in picture, which is shrink me down, put me in the small corner of the movie, watch the movie full screen. Um, titles will be coming soon, again, on a regular basis over to the member site. But again, it's just like people, I'm coming across titles for free. That would be the movies we would be watching over there. So, you know, it's no delay, no problem. We're just watching together right here on YouTube without it having to be the bring your own copy dynamic. The movies that would definitely, this is the type of content we would be watching over on the paid site because Apple and Peanut Butter, because we normally do not get access to this movie. So, and enough said, this is going to be a really short intro that being the case i'm ready to go and let's just do our countdown playing in three two one click and it's drm productions never heard of that right is this something robert mitchum or did he create his own production company they're talking about Moonshine. <laughs> really? This is a focus. Oh my gosh, so yes, my grandpa definitely coming up during Prohibition out in the country like this, talking about being teenage bad boys, finding these stills, dipping each other in it by the ankles head first. <laughs> that is still stand. A keg stand? You ain't got nothing on a still stand. Okay? And that's what they would do. Is this Robert Mitchum? They are hiding his face. Is it not him? So they soup up their cars too, in case they get caught, chased by the feds here. I mean, now he said, oh my goodness, illegal whiskey. This, I don't, is it supposed to be set during Prohibition? Because we, whiskey isn't illegal. It 
he started driving her again. Oh no, okay. They, he crashed and was able to take off. Rolled over and got out. Okay, are you gonna watch the road? My goodness, that is Mitchum. Yes. We haven't gotten any credits yet, right? There, okay. Is this his own little production company, DRM? Robert Mitchum, right? I'm glad that I made the decision to come here next because this is just, I like a movie that gives me no hesitation as to like, yes, I'm gonna watch this. James Mitchum, his son, huh? Original story by Robert Mitchum! I would not have known that. Oh, he sings in this movie too. Robert Mitchum like recorded records. Huh? There's an episode of uh, King of Queens where Arthur's having a little party and he's got a Robert Mitchum record playing. <laughs> I feel like he was doing some um, Haribali Fonte, Bella Fonte sounding stuff. I didn't see um, costumes. I don't know that they showed it though. Wow, so Robert Mitchum made this story. I feel like it's his production company too. He's singing in it, acting in it, starring in it. Got his son in it. That's his son. They're supposed to be brothers. So. father and son be such twins it's creepy how much they look alike So he fixes it up. Okay, so they have a little, like, enterprise of cars here that load up. So was that his car that's loaded up with the whiskey? Okay, okay. why is the whiskey illegal? I don't understand when we get these movies. It's like absence of malice. Oh, he was a bootlegger, but it's like whiskey is legal. So why is it illegal to get it from these little independent distributors like this? <laughs> They're just making their own moonshine and selling it. Why is that a federal crime? Oh, sh she can afford it. She doesn't like the money. And she'll have to bring it back like um, in Goodfellas. So Robert Mitchum just escaped those feds, somehow left his license plate on them, and he's just going to be back out on the road in the morning. <laughs> so these two are supposed to be brothers. Oh my gosh. 
can happen in here. Oh, uh, yeah, no. Oh, he got knocked down. Mm -mm. So she's just got a parcel of boys that are into, oh no, what's the news? Somebody they know, but not one of her sons. Oh, so it wasn't the feds. And they do have it out. He was just up at the still, right? She said up in the hills. I gather, well, by the car, right? This movie is taking place in the 50s. I swear I am going to be so bothered by why this is illegal. <laughs> They're just little independent brewers. They're not supposed to be selling something that's supposed to have a tax on it. That's what they said in the beginning. Because these people sell their stuff without charging taxes on it that gets to go to the government. The government loses out on all of the money that they make, right? They're not paying their taxes on this stuff. And they're making enough money that Mitchum's mother should be able to go buy better clothes. Her problem should really be with her husband if she, she doesn't like it. But it wasn't the feds, right? Oh. They expect it? His son wasn't good enough. Moonshine. Well, are they all going to meet together and make a good decision? Oh. Oh, so he used to do this someplace else? So, and on top of that, they think it was Kogan, is that the, Kogan, who, he ain't waiting for them to give a yes, he's just gonna start, oh, she gonna hit him again, <laughs> he's gonna start killing them. Rock of Ages, okay. Uh, that's the song that Joseph Cotton tells Claudette Colbert she should sing about her love to her husband in Since You Went Away. Uh, 
I had never heard it. Hmm. So in this church, do they all know that they're moonshiners? A business meeting, you know what? Yeah, they all are aware. So do they all have to go along with it or not, right? They either all have to be in or all decide not to be in. I don't know why they would want to all of a sudden give up their independence. <laughs> Understand? Okay, I'm glad it wasn't just me. <laughs> Okay, it's revenue that the a government is missing out on. Oh, fighting. They want to be strategic. See, this is what I'm talking about, opposed to Shane. In Shane, each one of them, well, it was going to be very expensive. Huh? So, oh, who said wait? Did I say my thought? In Shane, they'd all be on their own. There'd be no unity. They were forming a little army. Well, do you need to dip out of the business, dude? Hmm. Well, if you can't cut it, Okay, yeah, why? Hmm. Okay. So, since he came back, the feds are on it. Or anybody. Huh. Okay, well, what? Uh-huh. Well, say, say it, my man. Put it on their mind. Yeah, uh, he, yeah, y'all are not... <laughs> Splitting up. Well, well, or then are you guys just gonna go do it on your own? Oh, they're a little democracy. Hmm. 
I don't get a feeling the ones that wanted to go along with it are not gonna go along with it. I like that though. I Shane, what bothered me extremely to where I hated that movie <laughs> was the way everybody talked like this and they would have all just been willing to let everybody come in and run over them and they wouldn't have wanted to stand up to anybody and the women would have been screaming to don't go to it and don't Joey and I mean anything. Okay, so this is fixing up that car that the feds just crushed. Made him roll over in. I mean, the car is barely dented. Oh, he's just letting him know you're a young little punk and I gotta have a checklist before I accept your work as finished. Oh, Rox. Roxanne's the lookout. <laughs> it is too much. I don't, I think that should be like a world record for father and son looking creepily too much alike. Oh, okay. So this one dude, he doesn't like Luke, right? Oh, she likes that. Well, is he coming to make a stop at this little party and snatch a woman up or, oh, she's getting in. I doubt he wants her in there. Okay, well, Roxy, he is not feeling you. He's just not that... What is the... He's just not that into you or whatever. She don't give an F about this dude. Oh, he's the one riding empty ahead. That's the only reason why Luke just came to this little party. It didn't have nothing to do with Roxy. She's quite aware. The other dude would like to set up shop with her and she ain't feeling it. Who is this? Oh, part of the organization right there, little organization. Oh, that's him dipped off. He only went so far with him as a decoy. He's heading back. So where do they put the um, alcohol? They just pump it into some little barrels in this car. So is this the feds or Coogan? Well, probably Coogan. Oh, oh go 
go, go. That's why his car has to be souped up. They just missed. They were trying to shoot him. Yes, this is the perfect next movie that we needed to watch. Oh, they are really just trying to kill him to get him to stop. They're going to confess they want his whiskey. -er. Yeah, because they've been saying the feds are not just shooting to kill. They just have a federal investigator. Ooh. Is this the nitro? Like, he just got jet power? Or, oh, he's releasing that on the road to make them slip. Well, that's what you get. Oh, well, okay. Oh. Well, that's karma. They were trying to kill him. Huh. So is this where he's just supposed to drop his stuff up? Oh, this dude isn't speaking to him. Oh, he makes it look like he has a legit little um, garage on the outside and here's where things really go down. Yeah, he gotta close the door first. So I, he will just start sucking the whiskey out of this car, huh? Because that's what his brother was, his son, was doing in the back of the car and said, do you think I would short you on gas? Oh, he's getting cleaned up. Uh, he just makes a little double trip out of this, where he's coming to town. Because he's putting on time. Yeah, okay. This And so now, alright, this is who's receiving it. What do they do with it? It's just the fact that the transfer right here from Luke to this dude isn't being taxed. That's the crime. Uh, he's just got a southern accent in this movie, huh? He was from South Carolina. He was from the South. Okay, so he orders parts from somebody other than this dude. Mm. Oh, yeah, he's be very specific. I don't need you to touch my motor. Just windows, mirrors, whatever. Okay. 
So these two just do the transaction. And this is what's not being taxed. And he doesn't do repairs, right? Mm. All right, well, he doesn't believe his brother gives him enough gas. And now he don't trust this dude empties out the tank. What difference does it make? It's illegal, huh? Now he's supposed to be not being a felon that he's dropped it off. Uh-oh. That much is a problem? Y yeah. Oh, he's lighting them up too. <laughs> mm. You can tell he feels like this is an ongoing problem. Like that fool's trying to set him up or something. Why would you try and set him up? That's his connect. came. This is what he got his little tie on for. That dude's voice. That's what he got hired for. Is his voice? Oh, so now everybody needs to be quiet enough to hear her whispering like this. I think about. Oh, Hogan. Okay. So we still don't know who Kogan is. Oh, I was going to say, I think this lady was a real recording artist at the time. Oh, you know what? He's not impressed. He doesn't. The, the whole team has already decided not go with this dude, and he's killing them. He knows, oh, that's who was shooting at him on his way here tonight. And now he wants to see him. That's why he's got such an attitude. Oh, 
Okay, so that is his car done, window replaced. And the only thing that was on that card was this address, huh? A speed shop, it said. <clears throat> yeah, speed shop. Oh. Who are those dudes right there? time. I finally made the time. <laughs> We've got mills that'll blow your heap right off of the road. Well, his car's pretty souped up. Seriously? Is this the record that's playing right now? What's on yours, phone? Yeah. I love his hair. he's going to do. Oh, so you're either my enemy or my friend. Oh. <gasps> that ruffle. I love it. Yes, Mitchum. out of the past. <laughs> All right. Uh-oh. His back tire, does it look jacked up? Violation of seven oh. What is the violation? S speeding. Is it speeding? <clears throat> or is it like your tinted windows or something, right? Like, what is 702? Oh, so he knows he needs to be getting the heck out of Dodge. He's, yeah, he knows that he set those fools off. Not the cops. Or is this him? to do 
Is, is he done? Well, he doesn't have the alcohol on him. So is it just he's got too souped up of an engine or something? What is this 702 he violated? Because he really didn't take off out of there speeding. <laughs> Where can they have him on? Something was unloaded. His little tank for the whiskey, right? I mean, let's see if they have to let him go. But they have been investigating this, though, right? Okay. Why? What, they want him to lead them to the bigger fish, the bigger mices? Yeah. So he gave a fake name to get arrested in <laughs> book. <laughs> oh, these are the treasury boys. So it, wow, it just really is about the lack of tax. Did he get to make a phone call so that anybody knows that he's here? My back itching. Hmm. It's a whole division. He bought it from the mill. Okay, then bye bye. And uh, he's no stool pigeon. Coogan, they know about him? He would probably consider, oh. Okay. He's got to be careful about what he admits to, right? Right, right, right. So why is he going to work with you? Did he have 4,000? There's a lot of other people at stake. And if he is like, okay, well, I'll go along with you right now. What are you guys offering him? Oh, I love it. I'm ready.
him go right now though too? I love it! This is quintessential Mitchum. Oh, are they both in their little robes? What? Is he wearing pajamas? What in the world is he wearing? How come that's what they started talking about? She wasn't trying to trash him. This is the most unique haircut I've ever seen on a woman. They're gonna get him. Hmm. <clears throat> this lady is totally not an actress. I really do believe she is a legit recording artist. So wasn't he fixing the cars? Where? He's trying to propose to her. He just wants to be a farmer. No. No. 
Yeah. She does not at all care. This fool needs to um, get the hint and not keep going and ask her to marry him. Because I don't even know if she'd pay attention. Everybody's his cousin. I'm trying to figure out, was that dude at the speed shop and said, hey, home folk, working on the car? The pay set so high. So it needs to be at a certain speed, too. All right. <clears throat> that makes sense. Why not now, Luke? <clears throat> Okay, so he really doesn't want his son following in his footsteps. It's pretty scenery. What's going on? Why does he want this car? Why on earth is he trying to take a car that has five tickets on it? They totally know what it is. And he said, let me just take your load until you can pay for it. Uh, now we know why he ain't paying attention to that old girl, huh? Or we just sold it? Okay. <clears throat> well, again, the dad is who she should have issue with.
to do what when he's in town? So they're going to wait until he comes into town? Next time they're not going to shoot him on the road? What's going on? I'm confused. So, Luke is back here in this town somehow? Or no, we didn't see any of that happen. The, he's just telling that fool, oh, is this his 1950 original car? Okay. He, it's his car now. And they totally recognize it. They're gonna come up I actually thought it was that darker one. Okay. No. Yeah, this is the car they pulled him over in. They caught him in. Is it full of his alcohol? He is stupid if he left it there. That's what Coogan did. Oh, and he just killed a federal agent. Where is he? Oh, oh. oh. Um, uh, so that dude's name was Miles. So that's two people that Coogan has killed now, and he was trying to, yeah, that he thought it was. Okay, Luke, then it is what it is. This is such a good movie. He doesn't love you, little girl. Uh, if they looked like you, oh! to her. Before I went to this war. Is it Korea? It has to be the Korean War. Huh? 
that he's talking about that he's been to. Chief Enforcement Branch Alcohol. Okay, it's the whole little division that's watching him. Let him go, but said work with us and say who's doing all the killing lately. But again, it's like he wouldn't do that because he'd have to be admitting to, oh yeah, I do everything you're accusing me of. And let me let you know my whole organization and you guys come in and then don't break your word that you wouldn't put us in jail. Federal prison. Is the county? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. What, they're just trying to find the alcohol stills on their own versus just always tracking them, transporting it. Oh, their tires all got flattened. Oh. Well, they know you're there. Oh. Ah. Oh. Him for they aren't going to say. So this dude's gonna come on in on Monday morning? Oh, they're destroying it. So, I'm not gonna lie to you, but I told the man that I work here for that I wouldn't lie to him either. Wow, they're blowing it up. Dad. Yeah. His judgment. Yeah, it turned more dangerous because of the feds than the stupid full Coogan, right? Well, no, Coogan went to blowing up cars in town. So he's, somebody's on his trail? Oh, so he has the whiskey on him. It's supposed to be his last run. Okay, he said this thing could do 130. That is as far as it goes. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh. You going through? Yes. Ah. Dang. So they kind of got stalled a bit. He made it in. Oh my gosh. This fool he's gonna give the alcohol to. Oh, that was Kogan? Yeah, because they were shooting. So this is the repairman, not the whiskey collecting man, or both, or... Oh, he's calling home. Is the alcohol still in this thing? Okay. acting on the phone. Is he calling his lady too? So, I mean, is the alcohol still in his car? What does that mean? Don't come. This is enough acting on the phone, right? Like, that's enough. Let's click it down now. We need to move along. Oh, so he's like, he takes the school bus. Like, he is, Robin is maybe a sophomore. Robin ain't gonna talk. He could have told full. Oh, yeah, still loaded. Okay, all right. Robin's not giving it up, he's been trained. Okay, 
so definitely go get him. Brave. Why are they working so hard to get to Luke? Go get Kogan. Well then... Robin, okay. Yeah, just give your card full. Be messing around with the kids. Good for you, Robin. You don't know nothing, huh? Gonna take the card. But that's jacked up. Now he knows his brother's really in danger. He hopes he's alive, but he, he did get in his head. He doesn't know if he is, right? Well, yes, he does, too. He would know. He called home last night. He would know that. Right? I knew he would, like, come talk it over to people at home. Huh? Oh, no, he's knocking on somebody's door. Good. He knows where Luke is. He's so cute. How old is this son? Huh? This is the cutest thing in the world. <laughs> He's cute. They've got a trap for you.
He did try and tell him that there's a trap for him, though, right? Now, he wasn't very clear about telling him that, about this trap that he knows is set by Coogan, but Mitchum knows that. He doesn't partner with anybody. Who is this staring at him sleeping? So that girl followed Robin. Is he going to grab his gun, huh? Yes, huh? How come everybody knows where he is? is this Does he hit Robin? <clears throat> Why would Robin have handled a situation like this. Is he coming with him now? Robin, are you going with your brother now? He's not taking Robin. Oh. That's pretty embarrassing. So, okay. His mother is coming to get him. Robin, don't mess up again. Don't have your mom coming all the way up here and she can't find you. Thank you. That's cute. Robin, go to the effing bus stop, you know what I mean? Quit messing this up. <laughs> it's just, it's highly embarrassing for him, though, that his mother is coming to get him. Like, people are going to see that. Is he going to the bus stop? Like, we need to quit having to worry about him. Where is this? In the dark. All shut down. Okay, just a phone booth. Be careful, Luke. I mean, are they going to try and blow him up in the... Phone booth. Oh, 
Oh. You know what? The way they would need you to put so much money into these phones back in the day. <laughs> Is it dimes? I mean, because that's what it would take, is dimes back in the day. I guess those were quarters. Why did it just get dark? Getting his brother involved? Yeah, I said that. Oh, click. Ooh. Be ready, huh? So, yeah, this is his car all fixed up. So, Coogan's in Memphis. He's coming there. Are they going to be on the road for him? Oh, the agent. <clears throat> because Mary's kind of wanting to know, Chick, what do you want with my husband? But you are awful, yeah. Yeah, she's studying her, but yeah, it's not about your man, lady. Huh? You can totally tell that. Can you go ahead and find Troy? Right. Yeah, let's just keep it moving. Okay. How? You messed up on that before, right? And killed a federal agent? You said exactly what and I mean, really. And, and you blew up the wrong two people. So the feds are on it. Okay, 
I mean, yeah, y'all haven't been doing it for Mike yet. Try to make it be the. Can he hear this? Why are we hear that? Trying to make it be that they can't get to Coogan unless Luke helps them. All right, because is this them coming right into Coogan's place right now for the first time? He does not see them. Should have been had it. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Well, yeah, that's life. <laughs> they, if they, okay. Now they've got Coogan. Should have been had him. Seems a little dense. <laughs> They're just having the same conversation. Natural now. What's he giving her like four thousand in cash? So, okay, if he uh, does not get a chance to make it back to her, she's set up for a while. Oh, he's not leaving yet. Does he leave? When she turns around, is he gone? Wow. Well, Luke. Okay, I guess you're gone. So, I mean, in a way, it was kind of stupid for him to call Kogan and say, I'm going to kill you when I get there, because that's exactly, now Kogan's like, we're really gonna get him. I mean, get him. And there they are. They're probably not gonna get him, but, well, if there's gonna be shit. He does. Is it like he has the police radio station tuned in? Are they just going to shoot at him or try and chase him? Oh, yeah. 
It's his two main men, huh? So, uh, well, they said that their cars could blow his off of the road so they could handle this chase. Mitchum sang a song in here. Did we? Ah. Uh. Oh, 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 okay. Well, he's done. He's done. Expected this at some point. Okay, well, stopping him is actually for his own good. Can he hear this or we can hear it? What is on that? Is it going to ignite when he drives over it? No. Well, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Get him out. Is he getting fried? Stop it. Stop it. Stop that. I don't think I've ever seen them kill Robert Mitchum before. Oh my gosh. I didn't remember this. 